you want to hurt him. When I take my shot, you should get there. Colby Covington, one of the best fighters in the sport. Keep it one, run it straight, up and down. I'm coming to get that belt. Alexandre Pantoja. Pantoja's a hunter that can put anyone out. Brandon Royval. This is a kill or be killed flyweight. Two world titles. Tomorrow, the UFC is back at Moody Center in Austin. A full card of can't miss action. Benil Daryush faces Armand Sarukian. This card stacked from top to bottom. I cannot wait. It's a stacked card full of stars in the Lone Star State. Don't miss UFC Fight Night. Live on ESPN and streaming on ESPN+. Plus. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-ins for UFC Fight Night, Dariush versus Sarukian. Tomorrow's main event features lightweight top 10 contenders looking to end 2023 with a bang. Benil Dariush has proven after almost 10 years on the UFC roster to be one of the toughest outs at 155 pounds. He is close to earning a title shot and looks to start a new winning streak here in Texas. On the other side is Armand Sarukian. The 27-year-old is off back-to-back -back wins in 2023, and many fight fans think he has what it takes to fight for UFC gold in the near future. This UFC Fight Night weigh-in is presented by Modelo. Root for those with a fighting spirit. We'd also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today in Austin. We hope to see all of you right back here for the fights tomorrow night. And now, fight fans, let's hear it. It is time for the weigh-ins for UFC Fight Night, Dariush versus Sarukian. Hey, biggest fight night event of the year is in Austin, Texas. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage, Luciana and Chrissy Blair. The CEO, Dana White, is here. Hunter Campbell and Mick Maynard as well. Great fight card coming up tomorrow night. The prelims begin on ESPN Plus. First fight just after 3 o'clock in the afternoon in the women's flyweight division. Veronica Hardy takes on Jamie Lynn Hort. First to the scale, Jamie Lynn Hort. for Jamie Lynn Hort. And her opponent, Veronica Hardy. Official weight one, 25 and a half for Veronica Hardy. Next, we move to the welterweight division. Wellington Terman takes on Jared Gooden. First to the scale, Jared Night Train Gooden. Official weight, 171 pounds for Jared Gooden. And his opponent, Wellington, the prodigy, Terman. Official weight, 171 for Wellington Terman. Up 
next, a bout of the light heavyweight division. Adolfo Palazzo takes on Ihor Potieria. First to the scale, Ihor Potieria. Official weight 204 pounds for Ihor Duelist Potieria. And his opponent, Adolfo Trator Palazzo. Wait for Adolfo Bellato. Next, we move to the lightweight division. Drakkar Close takes on Joe Selecki. First to the scale, Joe Selecki. Official weight, 155 pounds for Joe Selecki. And his opponent, Drakkar Close. Official weight, 155 and a half for Drakkar Close. Next, we move to the middleweight division. Zachary Reese takes on Cody Brundage. First to the scale, Cody Brundage. Official weight, 185 pounds for Cody Brundage. And his opponent from Shiner, Texas, Zachary Reese. Official weight, 185 for Zachary Savage Reese. Our feature premium is in the women's bantamweight division. The former champ, Misha Tate, takes on Julia Avila. First to the scale, 13th ranked bantamweight contender, Julia Avila. Official weight, 135 and a half for Julia Raging Panda Avila. And her opponent, Misha Cupcake Tick. Official weight, 135 and a half 
for Misha Tate. to the main card on ESPN. It begins in the middleweight division. Punahele Soriano takes on Dustin Stoltzfus. First to the scale, Dustin Stoltzfus. Official weight, 185 and a half for Dustin Stoltzfus. And his opponent, Puna Soriano. <laughs> Official weight, 185 and a half for Puna Soriano. Up next, we move to the lightweight division. Clay Guida takes on Joaquim Silva. First to the scale, Joaquim Silva. Official weight, 156 for Neto BJJ. Joaquim Silva. And his opponent, the UFC Hall of Famer, Clay the Carpenter, Guida. Official weight 154 pounds for Clay Guida. Yeah. Ranked matchups the rest of the way. We start in the welterweight division where ninth ranked Sean Brady takes on the 11th ranked middleweight Kelvin Gastelum. Back to welterweight, please welcome Kelvin Castello. <laughs> Official weight one, 170 pounds for Kelvin Castello. And his opponent, ninth rank, Sean Brady. Official weight, 170 for Sean Brady. Oh, Up next, we move to the bantamweight division. Eighth-ranked contender Rob Font takes on the former flyweight champion Davison Figueredo. First to the scale, Deuce Stakeda. Davison Figueredo. Official weight 135 in the bantamweight debut for Davison Figueredo. His opponent, Rob Pong. <laughs> A 
official weight 135 pounds for Rob Paul. Up next is our co-main event in the lightweight division. 12th ranked Jalen Turner takes on Bobby Green. First to the scale, the 13th ranked lightweight contender, Bobby King. Official weight, 155 pounds for Bobby King Green. And his opponent, Jalen, the Tarantula Turner. Official weight, 156 for the 12th rank, Jalen Turner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take a closer look at tomorrow night's main event. Say hello to the next generation of superstar at 155 pounds. He is Armand Sarukian. This kid doesn't have any weaknesses. On the feet, very fast, very technical. The best thing is ridiculous. I'm obsessed with the UFC gold. It's my dream. I want to be a champion more than everybody. I'm so motivated, I've been training very hard, and I'm getting better every day. This kid just keeps evolving. Nasty, dumped him on his head, and that looked like it hurt him bad. Oh my goodness! Shurukian's going crazy. Nobody can stop me achieving my dream. Oh my god, that's it! Arman Sarukian is still very much a problem at lightweight. Fight with Benil, it's a big opportunity for me to get in top five and to get that title shot. And I know after that fight, everybody gonna talk about me. Ooh, the kid's a problem. I wanna send message, I'm the next on the line. I do hear that no one wants to fight Armand Sarukian, and I think it's true. I see a man full of potential and a possible future champion, but I actually love the fact that I have an opportunity to go into that octagon and show the world what I am capable of. Oh, Betty Darius! Oh, oh, that's it! I'm sure he wants to make a name for himself stepping over me, but he's not the first person to try to do this, and he won't be the last, and he's going to fail like the other guys have. Benil Darius by knockout! Wow. He's going to feel I'm a real deal in this game. I think I'm the best fighter in our division. Oh my gosh, he's fast in blood. Oh wow, look at that. Now it's my time and I don't want to beat him barely. I want to finish him. Wow, Armand Sarukian. Armin is a very confident man and I like that he's so confident. I look forward to taking that confidence away from him dominantly. Oh! His end of his career, I'm just beginner, you know, and that's why it's like it. Old Wolf versus Young Wolf. Uh, always Young Wolf been. I am not done, and I am I have no plans to be done. And I will break whoever steps in front of me. First to the scale for our main event, the eighth ranked lightweight contender, Armand Sarukia. Official weight 155 and a half for Al Hal Kalakes. And his opponent, the fourth rank lightweight contender, Benil Dariu.
official weight, 156 pounds for Benil Dariu. Here with Armand Sarukian. Armand, you've been asking for a big opponent in the top five for quite a while. Tomorrow night you have your chance. How do you feel? I feel amazing. So excited to be here, Austin. Hello, guys. And uh, can't wait to be the best lightweight in the world and uh, to be contender number one for the title. Armand Sarukian, ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it. And his opponent, Benil Dariush. Benil, five rounds. You have a. Uh, uh, at your disposal tomorrow night in a big headlining spot. How do you feel? Man, I love the idea of five rounds. Uh, just want to say uh, I love Texas, man. Every time I come here, there's something special about this place. So thank you guys for coming. Th thank you for the support. And we'll see you tomorrow for a great fight. Can't wait for it, Benil. All the best tomorrow night. Benil Tariush, let him hear it. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you tomorrow. Go get that big 12 championship tomorrow and then come here to Moody Center. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, the UFC is back at Moody Center in Austin. A full card of can't miss action. Benil Daryush faces Armand Sarukian. This card stacks from top to bottom. I cannot wait. It's a stacked card full of stars in the Lone Star State. Don't miss UFC Fight Night. Live on ESPN and streaming on ESPN+. Plus. Don't miss your chance to be a part of UFC history with unique memorabilia from UFC collectibles. Have your name added to the Octagon canvas at UFC's biggest events and receive your framed name on canvas after the fight. Get closer to the action than ever before. Limited spaces available. Own a piece of UFC history only with UFC collectibles. Changing the game since 1993, the UFC hits its 30-year anniversary, and to celebrate and commemorate, we are crowning the all-time roster, the Ultimate 30. Join me and my guy, DC, as we count it down, the top 30 fighters in the illustrious history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship.